so we can avoid running as well. Mark Twain! Mark Twain is not just the name of a riverboat or a great American author. It also means the water here is two fathoms deep. That means it's safe enough for us to proceed on our steam-powered journey along the rivers of America. On our trip, we'll visit the magnificent Columbia of the Great Northwest, the graceful Missouri of the windswept plains, and the rugged Rio Grande along the border of Texas and Mexico. I'll be sure to point out interesting sights along the way, and even tell you about a legend or two. We begin our trip right here on the mighty Mississippi, heading south and ending up down in New Orleans. Oh, 
While you're in critter country, you might want to grab a paddle and try your hand at the Explorer Canoes. You can work up a real good sweat throwing one of those around the river. Me? I'll take the comfort of the Mark Twain Riverboat any day. of moose, mountain lions, and other wildlife. Yeah, 
into civilization along the Rio Grande. Off in the distance are the towering buttes of Big Thunder Mountain. Rumor has it that the railroad built to haul gold out of the mountain has been seized by supernatural forces, and they've turned the mining trains into the wildest ride in the wilderness. Of course, that may be just another legend of the river. Just ahead is the frontier land where our journey ends. On behalf of our entire crew, I'd like to thank you for booking passage on the Mark Twain Riverboat. At this time, we ask that you prepare to disembark. If you're on one of the upper decks, please make your way down to the first deck. The stairways to the right side and the back of the boat may offer the quickest and easiest route. We hope you enjoyed your voyage with us and that you'll visit us again real soon. Sure. 